Um, Museum of Ice Cream. Near and dear to my heart, the Museum of Ice Cream. I love them. They are now being sued over the sprinkle pool because a weak father, this freak, he said he was injured jumping into the Soho sprinkle pool. I really dislike people, by the way, who ruin a good thing for everyone. Let me tell you exactly what this is, okay? In New York, which used to be the cultural epicenter of the world, but is now a large uh, hatchet-throwing uh, installation, as far as I can tell. That's what New York has become now, by the way. It's escape rooms and come throw the hatchet and, uh, oh, look, it's Harry Potter on Broadway. It's a uh, hell here. It's become a hell. Um, but it's a big chase bank where you can throw the hatchet while they run your credit. That's what Manhattan has become. So in the middle of Manhattan, they decided to build something called the Museum of Ice Cream. <laughs> and uh, people go there and they jump in a sprinkle pool. This is what the greatest city in the world is doing, by the way. And these two news anchors are going to, with a straight face, okay, talk to you about the Museum of Ice And by the way, and thankfully, we now have the Raising Cane's global headquarters in Times Square. Everything they said the city was going to become, it is becoming. Um, let us watch this father who injured himself in the sprinkle pool at the museum, which my fat old agent took me to. Fatty Boombatty. God love her. She hates when I say things about her. She was a great agent. Love her, love her, love her, love her. And she took me, because she had, she had a couple of fatty boom baddies as clients, and we went to the Museum of Ice Cream. And the Museum of Ice Cream isn't great. Because here's the thing about fatty boom baddies. They don't really give a shit. Like, it's like, it's not like, hey, let, it's like, hey, where's the sample? No one cares that much. It's not Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory here. We don't give a shit. We want the ice cream. It's like the Ben and Jerry's tour. We don't care. Let's go to the, let's skip till the end. How about we go to the boutique? Let's skip, let's skip till we go to the boutique, okay? We don't care about, yeah, 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 they're communists. We get it. They're communists. They like mint. Great. Let's skip. Where's the scoop shop? The sprinkle pool at the Museum of Ice Cream is now at the center of a lawsuit. A father is claiming he was injured earlier this year when God he jumped us. in. Christy God Kalishian has the story this. from Soho. It's not quite like jumping into a ball pit. The Museum of Ice Cream Sprinkle Pool has a harder landing. I saw a couple kids land pretty hard, so I'd be surprised if an adult would jump in there. But that's what happened back in late March, according to a lawsuit filed by Jeremy by Shore, way, we, who says he got hurt in that spring. Do pedophiles design everything? <laughs> is there anything not being designed by pedophiles, by the way? Is, 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 there, is there any public inst art installation not being designed by pedophiles in this city? Well, what if it's a pool of sprinkles and all the kids jump in? That person should, from that suggestion, there should be a, sh a shoot that opens and they go, and they go right into a cell, into jail. To go right to jail. I mean, Jesus Christ. Sprinkle pool when jumping in earlier this year while at the museum Soho location with his daughter. The complaint cites an ankle fracture and, quote, severe and permanent personal injuries to his right leg, ankle, and other parts of his body, saying he needs surgery. You should have seen that it's not that deep, so you should, like, put your foot in first at least and see it's, like, not that deep. It's, like, this deep. You don't do that. The pool here seems to be at about ankle, maybe mid-calf for a little kid. And they are hollow. There are these little thin plastic sprinkles here. Videos of other people jumping off the nearby diving boards were also included in the complaint. Like this one, where this woman says she sprained her leg and needed crutches. And another showing a woman falling Why are you getting in? You're an adult. You're an adult. Stop that for a second. Why are, in God's name, are adults, and they didn't have this years ago when I went, why did they, why are they jumping into the sprinkle pool? Look at this retard. Look how stupid this person is. This is a grown ass woman doing a cannonball into a, onto a fucking floor with a foot of plastic sprinkles. Play that again. I can't get enough of it. That was like my Thanksgiving dinner. That's how it went, by the way. Just like this. Boop. <laughs>
Why do you realize those? Number one, think of how stupid we are as a society now that we even have a sprinkle pool, and that we ha- there needs to it needs to be regulated. <laughs> That's how bad we are as a society that there exists a thing called a sprinkle pool. You can't just eat ice cream; you got to jump in a pool of sprinkle. Now, by the way, I think this guy knew this was like this. I think he needed a lawsuit. I think this is a guy who goes, I'm fucked. I need to go jump in the sprinkle pool right now. I think he was sitting there talking to his wife. And he goes, I've been to that. I've taken our kids. I've seen a couple of people really injure themselves. I know how to get us out of this. I can get us out of it. They're sitting there. They're having a rough breakfast. She's going, we are fucked we have about four months of expenses left, and then we are fucked. We've got nothing. He goes, all right, all right, listen. You're going to think it's crazy, but I'm going to go jump in the sprinkle pool at the Museum of Ice Cream and sprain my leg. We'll scare him. It'll get a lot of bad press. We'll settle out of court. Four or 500000 something to keep us alive here. John, that's ridiculous. I'm telling you. I've seen people. I saw some dumb bitch do a cannonball into it the other day. People are getting hurt. Really? Yes. I'm just saying I'm going to go there and really hurt myself. John, don't do any permanent damage. I got a doctor. He'll say I'm all fucked up. Really? Yes. I'm telling you. I mean, listen to this. The complaint, failing to have sufficient, proper, and adequate warnings about the dangers and risks of the sprinkle pool. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine being a grown man, a grown man, a grown up? People in the Ukraine are dying. People in Russia are dying in this three year bloody battle, right? People in Gaza are being lit on fire, okay? People in Israel got kidnapped from a music festival and ended up in a tunnel, okay? People all over the. I and my parents have dogs named after slaves. All of the problems in the world. And this guy is suing the Museum of Ice Cream because they have not sufficiently warned him about the dangers and risks of the sprinkle pool. Can you, you, you can never tell that story. I don't care how much money you get. You can never tell that story in mixed company again. Well, Joanna just got over cancer. Well, John actually injured himself at the, have you been to the Museum of Ice Cream? He jumped in the sprinkle pool and uh, hurt himself. He has tendon issues and kind of nerve issues, a lot of neuropathy. He's got a lot of pain. And I'm telling you right now, there is, this is the most undignified thing I have maybe seen in seven years of doing this show, is that a man has injured himself in the sprinkle pool. Here, let's finish this up. It's disgusting. A lack of proper warnings about the risks of jumping in and how the museum has advertised the sprinkle pool as a place to plunge in. Before entering the pool, patrons are told to take their shoes off. They're also told by this sign here, across from the little cubbies, not to run and not to dive, as well as not to eat the sprinkles. It's a little sh- I really believe, I hope Trump, if he does anything, I hope he bans all of this. I hope he bans all of these experiences and he brings back just hookers and gambling. I, all of these experiences that people are getting into, these like viral marketing stunts, this hatchet throwing, this is these escape rooms, these weird, odd, like quasi, you know, social experiment type that I just I want it all gone this it should not be in New York let it happen in uh, other places let it happen somewhere else I don't feel comfortable and if it happens let it be a pop-up this thing's been there like a decade like I'm uncomfortable with the level of banality and mediocrity that New York City is just it's just churning out All of this very, like, basic stuff for basic people, which is not what it was... The city was not intended to be a mall in the suburbs. It's not what it was intended to be. I mean, the fact that we have a sprinkle pool and we have these retards who don't know that they shouldn't dive into it, what's going on here?